Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pami and on here I am reviewing all things clean beauty. So if you are interested in clean beauty, please feel free to also subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you here. You could also ring that bell to stay notified about my upcoming videos. And if you enjoyed this video at any point, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. So today we are going to be reviewing a full face by the brand 100% Pure. 100% Pure is literally the pinnacle of a puristic natural beauty brand. I mean, if you look at these ingredients, they are squeaking clean. They really formulate all their makeup with fruit pigments, which is super interesting, you know. 100% Pure is an American brand. They are based in California. All their makeup is also made in the USA. Their packaging is made out of recycled material or it is actually recyclable, which is so nice. The only thing which bothers me a little bit, you know, I mean a company that is that sustainable and really cares about sustainability. I mean, they literally powering all their headquarters with solar energy, which is so cool. But the only problem I have with them is that they don't offer refills, which is a little bit of a shame. You know, considering that price point, it would be lovely to see that in the future. They have a massive range of skincare and a massive range of makeup, you guys. They got pretty much everything you can dream of. And you know, they have so many foundations as well that I decided to actually dedicate an entire video to testing out their foundations. So I'm gonna link that up in the cards and I'm also gonna link it in the description box if you are curious about, you know, any of their foundations. I did review them in depth in that video and I also did a wear test for each foundation. So I hope that really, really helps. So for today's full face review, I wanted to pick out the foundation that I enjoyed the most. I do have 12 products here in total that I want to be showing you guys today. So we can definitely do a full face of 100% pure. So without no further ado, let's just go bare face and let's get this video rolling. So you guys, I am bare faced right now and ready to apply their primer. So this is their mattifying primer and this retails for $49. I just had to put it back in a package. It's such a beautiful packaging. I love this. So this is their mattifying primer. I have used this before. Uh, this has vitamins and antioxidants in it and seaweed collagen as well. They also have a luminizing primer and that one is $10 less. But since I always want to control my oils, I always kind of like gravitate towards the mattifying primers. So this is a silicone free primer infused with skin plumping seaweed collagen, makes cosmetic application flawless and lasts longer. It fills in lines for smoothness while keeping excess shine away. So I do think this is an okay primer, you know, it is a translucent gel, but I don't think this actually you know, gets tacky or anything. I feel like it just gives the skin a very silky finish. So I don't think it actually makes the makeup stick very well. I'm just gonna apply it with my fingers. I'm quickly gonna put back my hair and then we'll start. So this is one of these primers that feel like silicone, you know, but it's silicone free and has some very, very pure ingredients. The only thing that I'm missing from this primer at that price point is the tackiness. You know, it feels like it's gonna dry down and it's just gonna be silk on your skin. Like you have a very smooth texture, which is not necessarily the best thing to make the makeup grip onto it. As you may be aware by now, 100% Pure has a lot of foundations and I did a whole review on four of their foundations. And for today's video, I wanted to pick my favorite one out of them. You know, the one that I felt like was the best from all these foundations that I've tried. So today we are going to be applying the Fruit Pigmented Full Coverage Water Foundation and this retails for $41. So I have to be super honest with you, none of the foundations that I've tried by 100% Pure were super mind-blowing. Also, considering the price point, this ended up being my favorite one out of their range. 
And I think this is also the cheapest one, which is really interesting. So this is their water foundation. Uh, it is not water-based, as I thought. I think that name has something to do with the finish of this being more satin dewy. So the very first ingredient in this foundation is organic aloe juice. We also have peach fruit, we have carrot, we have pomegranate, we have vitamin E, green tea, oregano. I mean, we just have a bunch of natural things so that's always very interesting with their formulations so with this foundation they have 19 shades i have the shade warm 3.0 i'm gonna give this a little bit of a shake and i'm gonna dot it on my face and apply it with a sponge So this is one layer with a sponge. This is definitely not like super full coverage. Like they say it's full coverage. I'm like, no, it is not. So I have to really get more product onto my face to achieve a full coverage. So two layers of this, it is a buildable foundation, so you can definitely achieve more of a fuller coverage. I still don't think this is full coverage though. I mean, I can still see like a lot of redness poking through here. On my forehead, it looks pretty neat, but my forehead is also the one part of my entire face that does not um, really require that much coverage in general. So everywhere else, I feel like I wanna go in a little bit more with the foundation, so. Yeah, that's the only downside. You're gonna use a lot of product for full coverage. I mean, ugh. I mean, it looks nice. The reason why I went in with the sponge and not a brush is also because when I used the brush, it uh, was streaking and it was a disaster. So I do think the sponge is the way to go. It will eat up a little bit of coverage. But as you can see right now with three layers of this, um, it, look, it looks pretty good. I mean, I like it. Uh, also, I don't know if it's because I used the mattifying primer beforehand, but this is not that dewy, you know. They kind of like claim it's a dewy finish. I don't really, I don't really see the dewiness in this, you know. I mean, it is definitely satin, satin definitely, but dewy, not so much, you know. Okay, you guys, so my foundation is on, so let's move on to the concealer. So this is their long last concealer with super fruits and this retails for $27. This comes in a beautiful packaging as well. They have six shades with this concealer. I have this in the shade white peach and it's like concealer like that. I think I'm gonna go in in the beginning with a brush. So I definitely just wanna cover my under eyes a little bit more and then maybe some uh, coverage required on my chin. Let's put this on a brush first and if I have to go in with my fingers, we'll do that. Yeah, that brush, not my favorite type of application. Maybe we'll even need a sponge here. Just gonna do it with my fingers. Super creamy. It is definitely a luminous, creamy concealer. Uh, it blended out so well though with this sponge. I mean, so far I'm impressed. I like it. So another thing, apparently this uh, concealer is also water resistant. I did not know that. I mean, I kind of like it. it uh, hopefully it won't crease. And if this does not crease, this is a really good concealer so far. Definitely not cakey at the moment. It is maybe not the most full coverage concealer just because, you know, it is a little bit more creamy. But it looks super nice under my under eye, like, I like it a lot. So now that all of this is done, 
not set the face and use their powder. So this is the Bamboo Blur Powder and this retails for $41. So as the name gives it away, this is uh, called Bamboo Blur Powder. So the very first ingredient in this powder is Bamboo Silica. And I actually really enjoyed this powder so far. I've tried this also in my other video with the foundations. Uh, I like this powder a lot. It's actually really nice. So I'm going to powder all of this down. I'm going to obviously, you know, powder down the concealer and then just lightly set my foundation with it. Still, I feel like this foundation looks good on its own as well, but we want to make it, you know, last a little bit longer. This has a tapping nut, so you just have to tap in it. This is a super potent powder. It will definitely blur your face, like super blurring. Um, another thing I forgot to mention, I mean, this is a bamboo silica based powder, but it also has peach fruit, apricot, papaya, turmeric, and green tea in it. Very interesting formulation. I never had a powder, a setting powder that had these sort of ingredients. So that's done. So let's move on to bronzing and highlighting. So this is the Cacao Pigmented Bronzer and this retails for $38. They've got this bronzer in three shades. I have the shade Kiss. So this is the bronzer I've got. I've never tried this, you guys. So this is gonna be a premiere. Okay, so let's bronze up my face. I feel like this shade is super pretty, really nice. I mean, they had two other shades. I went with this Kiss shade because I think it's a neutral shade and I do think I can contour with this. So I'm just gonna contour my nose as well with this powder. I really do like this bronzer a lot. I like the shade, it's so pretty. It's also buildable and just blendable and it doesn't come up patchy on the skin. So yes, you guys, so let's move on to the highlighter. So this is their Gemmed Luminizer and this retails for $38. This is available in two shades. I have this in the shade Moonstone. They also have a golden glow shade. It looks super pinky, you guys. I'm a little bit scared that it might be too pinky for me but we shall see how it's gonna come up on the skin. Again, this is gonna be a first impression, so I haven't tried this out just yet. So I'm so excited to see if I like this or not. Let's pack it on. Honestly, I wish I would like it more than I actually do. On here, it looks the best on this side. Doesn't look that great because I went overboard with it and then I really highlighted my texture around here. We'll definitely have to try this out a little bit with other foundations and um, I do think it's pretty though. I just wish it was a little bit more, like it would just not be as powdery. It's a little bit too powdery for me, you know? And I mean, this sounds really strange because it is a powder, but you know the Sane Cosmetics, my favorite highlighter? It just gives you that wet look. And this one doesn't. It's, uh, it looks a little bit drier on the skin, so it comes, it kind of clings on a little bit, so it comes across a little bit patchy. So definitely not necessarily my favorite highlighter. Do I like the sparkle? Do I like the luminosity? Definitely. 
that is something I appreciate. Do I like the formulation? Maybe not so much. So my complexion is done, so let's move on to the eyes. And you guys, I do have a brow product by them. So we're gonna be trying that one out. So this is the Green Tea Fiber Brow Builder and this retails for $23. I have this in the shade Medium Brown. My eyebrows are pretty dark, so I hope this is gonna work. So let's actually see if I can do this or not. I'm scared. Usually these things don't work out for me, but we're just gonna try it, you know? So let's go. You know, I have very sparse eyebrows, so I usually fill them in with a pen and not with something like this. And this is medium brown. It is pretty dang dark. So let's just uh, do this side. It does fill in my sparse areas. Like, I mean, I'm gonna stop now. I feel like it's very dark though. Like, I feel like I really like literally darkened up my eyebrows a lot. I rarely like to try out brow products because I'm so particular. I always, always, always use my Eco Brow Pencil and I love this one. I just have more control with this product. The way this Eco Brow Pencil is shaped too, it's like literally shaped like a hair so you can almost like do little stems. But this is, I mean, it's something new, you know, it's a... Uh, it's okay, I mean, I'm not gonna go in with this now because I feel like uh, they already look very, very much accentuated at this point, especially this brow here looks super different than that one. But yeah, in general, I, pr I prefer this brow. If I'm honest, I prefer this brow over this, but that's just me, that's always the case. So let's move on with their eyeshadow palette. So this is the Pretty Naked palette and this retails for $55. So this is their Pretty Naked palette. You get a highlighter, you get a blush, and you get three eyeshadows, but they do have like different palettes as well with different color stories. This was the one that spoke to me the most. Um, it's very simple, it's very safe. I don't think you can go wrong with this at all. I think I'm going to put this highlighter on my eyes though. So I have one more shade. But yeah, so I'm going to go in with the shade in the middle here. That's the shade Bare. I'm going to take that shade and just put it in my crease. This is actually a really nice shade. I really, really like this shade. Nice. Okay, so let's move on and let's intensify my crease a little bit. And I'm gonna dare and go in with the shade Butterfly Papillon. This one right here. So let's move on with the shade that I want to put over my lids. This one right here. I don't like the shade. Wait, I'm just gonna wet my brush and see if I can get a little bit more color pigment payoff out of this because it doesn't really shimmer, it looks so powdery. Okay, wait, I'm just gonna wet that brush. That shade is very disappointing, this one. I thought this would be great for the lids, but it's just very patchy. Anyway, let's get back to this later. So I do want to use their eyeliner on my waterline. So this is their Creamy Long Last Eyeliner and this retails for $26. So I have this in black and I have this in white. I hope they're good. I haven't tried them out yet. I just hope they're creamy and that they can stick in my waterline. I'm going to use the black one. Um, but yeah, we'll get back to this eye look in a second, so... This went on like butter, really creamy, great formulation, I love this eyeliner, perfect. Okay, but back now to the eyeshadows. Okay, I don't know what you think about them. So, I'm gonna drag a shade down, drag this one down. 
just a little bit. So I'm gonna take the shade Fox, the highlighter, and I'm gonna try this as an eyeshadow. We're gonna try and put this on the eyes. And I'm gonna highlight the brow bone and put it in the inner corner of my eye. Yeah, this eyeshadow palette, I gotta be honest with you guys, this is a failed product for me. I mean, for $55, are you serious? This is not great. I mean, I have palettes that are worth $45 that have 12 shades and they're all stunning. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's not bad, but it is definitely not the best eye look ever. Especially that shade I put on my lids, it's just so patchy. Like, especially on this eye here, I mean, usually when I wet my brush, any sort of metallic shimmer works. So I don't blame my eyelids for this, not at all, because other eyeshadows do work. The first shade that I used, the shade Bare, was really nice though. That one that I put in the middle here in my crease, that is good. But the other two, yeah, I don't really know. I, I mean, I'm not impressed. So you guys, my eyes are almost done, but of course we're dismissing the mascara and 100% Pure actually does carry two mascaras, so I picked up both. So this is their Fruit Pigmented Mascara. This is ultra lengthening and this retails for $26. And this is their Maracuya Oil Mascara and this is a volumizing mascara and it retails for $26 as well. So both of these mascaras do come in this beautiful packaging. Um, I picked up both because I wanted to compare them to each other so that you might know which one to pick out. So we have a volumizing mascara and we have a lengthening mascara. I'm going to quickly curl my lashes. So let's apply the Maracuya oil, the volumizing one on this eye and then let's apply the fruit pigmented one, the lengthening one on this eye. First impressions here, I haven't tried them yet so I don't know what awaits me. Oh my god, they smell so good. Okay, so this is the volumizing one. This is the lengthening one. Okay, we're gonna start with the volumizing one on this eye. This is not a clumpy mascara. Thank the Lord it is not clumpy. Uh, the only thing I will say is for a volumizing mascara, I felt like this is not very volumizing. You know what I mean? Okay, so let's try out the other mascara, the lengthening one. Let's see how much this is gonna raise my lashes. I think I prefer this over this. So, I mean, this looks stunning. This has definitely like lengthened my eyelashes to the max and it looks so feathery. I feel like this one also gave me much more volume. Although it's not a volumizing one, it does give you volume. It's not just lengthening. This is also volumizing. I like it a lot. Okay, you guys, so my eyes are done. Let's move on to the last product. Let's move on to the lips. So this is their Fruit Pigmented Cacao Butter Matte Lipstick and this retails for $28. They have a lot of lip products, they have plenty of stuff. I picked up this matte lipstick and I have the shade Agave. Looks super pretty. I'm not gonna line my lips, I'm just gonna smack it on there. So we shall see if I like this or not. I love this. <laughs> this is so creamy and matte and it feels so moisturizing to your lips. It is a beautiful shade as well. I thought this shade was a little bit more brown than it actually is. It is more like nude sort of... What is this? Very hard to define. It's almost like a peach shade but it's not peach. So if you look up the color on the box it's very different from 
what's actually inside. This looks more brown reddish, so this is not brown reddish at all, but it's nice. It's a beautiful color. This formulation is amazing. This went on like literally like butter and I like it. I like this a lot. So you guys, this is my 100% pure full face finished look. I have to say I like it. Not the biggest fan of the eyeshadows, but it's okay. I mean, it's not the worst. It's just for the price. It's a little bit too much. But then again, everything else looks pretty smashing. So <laughs> I'm really, really happy that I tried this out for you guys today. And yes, yeah, so let's just go ahead and do my plant rating. So you guys, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you enjoyed this full face review by 100% Pure. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. That would be so appreciated. Also, if you have not yet, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. I would absolutely love to have you here. You can also hit the bell notification so you stay notified about my upcoming videos. And yeah, I shall be seeing you on here very, very soon again with the next review. So please take care. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.